Yo, what's going on, buddy? This is Dylan Talk Sports. My name is Dylan. In today's video, what I wanted to do is I'm going to talk about something that's not exactly sports related, but it is still technically a sport if you ask me. First off, hopefully you all had a happy 4th of July, but on 4th of July, one of the things that a lot of people would like to enjoy, including myself, is the hot dog eating competition, the Nathan's hot dog eating competition. This year, though, jo uh, Joey Chestnut was not actually allowed to compete because he had a little bit of a trouble issue. Apparently, back in the month of June, he had a little thing where he, for life, has been basically representing Nathan's hot dog. He, he does the Nathan's hot dog eating competition and joey chestnut decided to go and, and be endorsed by a brand called impossible foods basically like a vegan uh, hot dog brand uh plant-based hot dog brands not meat and if for some people they do not like that i'm one of the people i i like pure meat i don't i'm not a fan of the whole vegan uh outbreak joey chestnut saw a check he saw the blank he saw the money on the check and he was like okay i'll take a chance on this nathan's hot dog though did not like it now you might be asking why do you fucking care about this because at the nathan's hot dog eating competition they still have the, comp the competition even with joey chestnut there joey chestnut what did he do while he was not there he went and did like a charity thing with some soldiers uh somewhere else i forget exactly where it is we'll talk about it in today's video but the funny thing with it is he actually went somewhere else did a competition and he did it in five minutes the winner of the nathan's hot dog eating competition he had 10 minutes and Joey fucking beat him. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is one, talk about the whole uh, outrage that I have with the fact that they, they got rid of him. Why, two, why should he be let back in? And three, the fact that this winner is going to be celebrating and being like, I beat, I'm the new winner. I basically dethroned Joey. It's like, no, you fucking didn't. Joey's still the, the king. Now, as always, all information you're going to be seeing on screen, I have a couple articles I kind of want to talk about. I'll have links to them all down in the description below if you want to go check it out for yourself. But I'm going to go and get straight into this. So if you're going to enjoy it, as always, make sure you're going to drop a like on this video. Be very much appreciated to do so. But without further ado, let's get into it. Now, like I already said about the whole outbreak or outrage that's kind of going on, as you can see here, this kind of explains it. Uh, the brand, Impossible Foods, like I said, according to sources, was the brand that Joey Chestnut decided to take over with. It says here, Joey Chestnut, perennial winner of the annual July 4th Nathan's Hot Dog Inn competition, is out of this year's uh, beef barf over a deal he made to represent a different wiener brand the post has learned and i guess for some reason nathan's brand of hot dog they looked at that as like y you cannot go represent somebody else you you compete in our brand if you want to represent a hot dog brand you represent our brand here's my thing i don't care if he represents nathan's or doesn't represent nathan's it's the fact of why does it matter if he goes represent somebody else it's it's a hot dog eating competition you're not some big global thing like i don't even i don't buy nathan's hot dogs i buy a different brand of hot dogs i'm pretty sure if i went down the street the average person down the street doesn't buy nathan's hot dogs they probably buy some generic brand of hot dogs like sure i'm sure joey chestnut being a brand name for you guys helps but then again how many people actually watched the hot dog eating competition a lot of people puke to it now when it comes to this year's hot dog eating competition the winner was pat bertoli he ate 58 hot dogs in the 10 minutes at the nathan's hot dog eating competition which don't get me wrong that is an amazing record that is amazing time uh, amazing hot dog eating I'm gonna be honest, I probably wouldn't get about 10 to 15 if I'm lucky. I can't handle the, the soggy bread, but that's neither here nor there. But I want you to look here at the record that Joey Chestnut did. Like I said, he was at a Fort Bliss Army base in El Paso, Texas, like I said, competing with a bunch of soldiers, kind of like a charity thing. And theirs, he had five minutes to do his. He ate 57 hot dogs in five minutes. The winner had 10 minutes and he ate 58. So by simple mathematics and physics, Joey Chestnut probably could have easily gotten to 100. Then again, you have to realize he was probably slowing down. And as he says here, I wasn't holding back or like he was probably also slowing down a little bit. I saw one article kind of saying that he was slowing down a little bit. Realistically, he probably could have gotten to like 75 hot dogs. Now, when it comes to Joey, I think being upset about it, he's not really upset. Like he says here, he told USA Today, he said the guys did great. Uh, everybody did, a, did amazing, a lot better than last year. And I'm really happy for Pat. So it's like he's not completely like, this is some bullshit or like how could they throw me out he probably just took it as like i take a year off go do something else he still got to do the hot dog eating competition he still got to have some fun it was for charity i think they were donating a lot of money and a little side thing uh like i said he ate 57 hot dogs the other soldiers it says here he competed against four other soldiers the four soldiers combined ate about 49 hot dogs so like i said mathematically they ate about what 10 to 15 hot dogs each he ate 57. Now, kind of wrapping it up, like I said, I don't think I have a... It's more or less the problem of them getting rid of him, and now this winner is going to start bloating, and people are going to start talking about, like, Joey Chestnut's been dethroned. He's not the real winner. That's not true at all. I almost want to look at it as, like, imagine in the sport of golf, if somebody won 
back-to-back masters somehow and then they get injured and they're out for a season people are going to start saying the new winner dethrone them it's like no you didn't motherfucker wait for them to get healthy come back next year same thing could be said for in tennis and wimbledon if somebody's just dominating uh djokovic uh federer all these guys that were been dominating for all the time if they get hurt everybody wants to think oh they're done it's it's over for them let them get healthy let them come back and they'll kick their ass kick your ass next year i think the same thing could be said for joey chestnut give him the time let him just take the year off it's cool. It's whatever. If he wants to still keep on representing this Impossible Brands uh, meats, uh, like plant-based hot dog brand, good job on him. Go for it. Get your bag. But if he wants to come back to Nathan's Hot Dog, I'm guessing he's going to have to drop this Impossible Brand and go back to Nathan's. I think it's some bullshit. I don't think it's right. I think he should be able to re be represented by whoever you want. Then again, he could go back to Nathan's and be like, hey, I'll drop this brand. I'll come back to you. But you need to give me more money. Because for all we know, he might be getting a lot of money from this Impossible Brand uh, hot dog brand. If Nathan's is giving him like jack shit compared to what they're giving him, he might just stay with them. Because I'm not really sure how much money you get paid for actually winning the hot dog brand or hot dog eating competition. It's not that much. I know that much. I think it's, I want to say like $50,000, maybe less, maybe more. But from what I know, it's not as much money as what he's probably getting paid or from sponsorships from this impossible brand hot dog company. But like I said, to finally wrap it up, Joey Chestnut, good on you. Uh, hot dog eating competition. I love the sport. It's just very, very gross. But other than that, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Hopefully you guys did go and enjoy this video. If you did enjoy it, as always, make sure you go and drop a like on this video. Be very much appreciated if you do so. If you wanted to watch the entirety of this video, thank you very much. And like I said, if you have a different opinion, do you agree or disagree, disagree with anything I said? What do you think about the hot dog eating competition? Did you watch it, not watch it? Whatever your opinion may be, leave a complete opinion down in the comment section down below. Be more welcome to talk about with you guys. If you're a fan of the content that I do post it and you want to hit that big red subscribe button, feel free to do so. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell. Be notified. Second post. But without further ado, this has been Don't Talk Sports. Have a great day. Peace.